Hi everyone, Jamie here. Welcome back to my garden. Don't let the sunlight fool you. It is supposed to downpour in about two hours. So hopefully I get this video done before there is an absolute downpour. And then after that, it's supposed to rain all night and all through tomorrow. So I wanted to get some filming done and some gardening done before I spent a good 24 to 48 hours indoors hiding from the rain. I'm actually kind of looking forward to it because I'm going to curl up with a book and a, a hot tea, you know, all the fun stuff that you want to do in fall and winter. So today is a really fun video because today I'm doing my very first giveaway on my channel. I am so flabbergasted with this, you guys. When I started my YouTube channel a year ago, I never thought anyone would even watch my videos, let alone I would be doing a giveaway at this time. So I'm really, really excited about it. And I have to thank you all for supporting me and watching my videos. I just, I am having so much fun doing all of this. So today I am working with Power Planter. I'm doing a giveaway for Power Planter, the, the very well-known auger company that you know, I'll have to admit, I was one of those that was completely skeptical about augers. I thought, you know, I like working with my hands. I like using a shovel. I like using a trowel. I don't need an auger. And I think it was when I was redoing my oak tree garden bed a couple months ago and the ground was just like rock and I was sweating and I was toiling and I was having the hardest time. I think it was when I was digging those holes to transplant my plumbago that I thought, probably should look into an auger. <laughs> I maybe might want to think about looking into an auger. And I'm so, so glad that Power Planter sent me out a couple of their augers to try out because ever since I started using these, I have not stopped. It has totally changed my gardening game. It has saved my energy from digging in the dirt to getting more stuff done, like planting, um, you know, and getting more projects done during my day because I'm not so tired from digging all the holes. So Power Planter sent me out two augers to try, the two inch garden planting auger and grass plug tool, and then the three inch bulb auger and bedding plant tool. So the two inch auger is really good for planting seedlings, really good for planting small bulbs, really good, good for planting grass plugs. And then the three inch one is good for uh, small pots. Um, and then also, you know, like regular size bulbs and different things like that. I have to say, I have been using the three inch one absolutely nonstop here in my garden. In my flower field where I'm planting a lot of seedlings, I've been using the two inch one nonstop. Both of these augers are part of the garden an auger starter pack, which is actually what the giveaway is for from Power Planter. So one of you is going to get this starter pack, which comes with both of these augers that I've been using for the past couple months and absolutely loving. And that is why I thought I jumped on this opportunity to do this giveaway because I really do think these augers are useful. And if you're thinking about trying one out, uh, like I was, again, I was kind of skeptical about it, but now that I've tried it out, I am ready to invest in a bigger drill and really get the big augers because it really makes such a difference. I only have this Ryobi 18 volt drill. These augers can be used for any drill that you can get at a big box store. Um, this one's just an 18 volt one and that's why I'm using the smaller augers. You really want to purchase a stronger drill if you want to get the bigger sized augers like the bigger diameter augers which I can see is in my future but these small augers they're very very useful even though they're small. Um, I still use use it all the time and if I want to if I want to dig a bigger hole, I just drill a couple holes with this auger just right next to each other. And it's really easy to dig a bigger hole like that. And then I still get to use the drill that I already own. So stay tuned to the end of this video for details on how to enter this giveaway. I do want to say I was a little hesitant about doing a giveaway on my channel because I know that it attracts the scammers like crazy. Whenever there's giveaway in a video title or any mention of giveaway at all, it it attracts all the scammers and they will leave comments below trying to get you all to click on random links and trying to scam you. So I just want to say 
do not click on any links do not respond to any comments that's you know that's not me that's not you know specifically from me here is my email address so if it's not from this email address do not respond to it okay you guys it is just it's so frustrating that you know these scammers try and do this um, but let's beat them let's <laughs> let's get ahead of it and just be aware that it's almost a given that there's gonna be scammers in the comment section down below so everybody watch out for that okay so now having said all that I am planning to use my three inch auger today to plant some allium bulbs I am really excited about it I'm planning to plant them right behind me right next to this plumbago and my plan is I'm hoping that they will bloom right around May right around early May so that I will have some allium blooms for my Pence gallery garden tour that I am going to be in on May 7th so I have two different varieties of alliums and I I actually have them from a, a couple of different suppliers and there is a good reason for that last year for Christmas I asked my mom my parents I asked for a whole bunch of Globemaster allium bulbs that I could plant all around my garden and it would just look like you know dr. Seuss basically well you know I don't want to say I don't think it was the company that we ordered from I think it was shipping issues and all this kind of stuff but basically every single allium bulb that I had had mold on it it was moldy and it was bad and out of like 200 allium bulbs i had two two bloom right like what percentage is that it's so bad so um what i did is i bought smaller quantities from a bunch of different suppliers i've got these these uh gladiator alliums from costco from longfield gardens i've got the globe master from easy to grow bulbs I've got, what are these? Purple Sensation from Easy to Grow Bulbs. And then I got these Purple Sensation from Home Depot. So I've been checking all of these bulbs, trying to make sure that there's no mold or anything on them because allium bulbs are susceptible to rot. So you wanna make sure that you're not planting them in a place that is, you know, has sitting water that doesn't have well draining water. And I think it's the same thing as storing them. If you store them in an area that's too moist or too hot or too cold, just not proper temperatures, they are going to rot and you'll have the same issue that I had last year, which was such a bummer. So I am hoping that these do better. I have a bunch of different varieties just because I'm trying to get the bloom time right. And I figured I would mix them all together um, and plant them right behind me with the goal of having some type of bloom around early May. In more mild zones, like zone seven, eight, nine, you wanna plant your allium bulbs in the fall, of course, but a little bit later in the fall, maybe like October to November. Um, it is mid-November right now, so I think it's the perfect timing for me here in zone nine B. If you live in cooler areas, cooler climates, you actually want to plant your allium bulbs a little bit earlier, maybe September, October, um, just so that they have time to get in the ground and settle in before it gets too cold. You want to plant allium bulbs in rich, well-draining soil. So well-draining so that they don't rot like I was talking about. I am going to use this EB Stone bulb food. I really like this stuff. It's easy for me to get around here in California um, and the company is, is local, so I love them for that. And then I I also have some compost that I had delivered for my cut flower garden. I'm going to mix that rich compost into the soil. So not only will that help with the drainage, but it'll also give it, you know, some goodies for the bulbs to grow nice and big. There are all different varieties of alliums. Some really tall, like the Globemaster allium, to really, really short ones. There's also some really interesting looking ones, like the Schubertii allium that I actually grew last year. And I absolutely loved when it was blooming, but even loved it even more when it was dry. I actually used it in some of my flower arrangements this year. But because there's all different size alliums, that means there's different size bulbs. So it's kind of hard to say plant them six inches deep because really a better rule of thumb is to plant them three times the depth of your bulb. And you do want to plant pointy side up so the roots are down on the, on you know, growing down towards the ground. But I would just say whatever the size of your allium bulbs, plant it three times the depth of that in rich, well-draining soil. So I'm just gonna get started. Again, I'm gonna use my bulb food, some compost, and I'm gonna drill all my holes with my three inch auger. Hopefully I finish before it starts raining. I can see right over here, there's some rain clouds coming in. Uh, so hopefully I'm not finish finishing this video in the rain. I think I'm going to be rushing though.
right, all done with planting my allium bulbs and I beat the rain, but you can see the rain clouds are definitely coming. The weather comes from out west over by the coast and comes this way usually. That's usually the direction it goes. Um, so I know it's coming, but I'm happy that I beat the rain. I really didn't want to garden in the rain today. <laughs> it's just not my cup of tea. Um, so I got all the alliums planted. It doesn't look like much. I forgot that I had landscape fabric in this garden bed. This is my cottage garden bed. When we moved into this house in 2020, there was this thick, intense landscape fabric absolutely everywhere everywhere and so when I first started gardening I thought that I could just get away with like just cutting holes in the landscape fabric and working around it because it is a hard hard thing to remove landscape fabric with like the rusty uh, landscape fabric stakes in it's just it's hard work um, and I just I can't get away I have to take this landscape fabric out so my plan is instead of doing it all at once and making a huge job of it whenever I plant something I just go around in that whole area and take out all the landscape fabric so this whole area, I took out the landscape fabric. That Honestly, that probably took me the longest of this whole project. Uh, planting the allium bulbs was super easy. I did use the rest of my bulb food. So I'm going to have to go to the store and get some more of that before I plant my daffodils and my tulips. And what else do I have? I have some muscari that I'm going to plant. Um, I can't remember what else. I know I have a couple random things. Oh, uh, ane anemones and ranunculus. I want to use bulb food with those guys too. So I'll have to go to the store before I get those. But as for the giveaway, the auger giveaway, all you have to do is leave a comment down below. That's all you have to do. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Today is Wednesday when I post this video, so I will do one of those random generators on Sunday, and then I will announce it in next Wednesday's video. So a week from today, I will announce the winner, um, and, and Power Planter will send you the, the, the starter kit directly. So again, do not click on any links. Do not click on anything. It's a scam. They will try and steal your information and steal your money. So let's make this a good giveaway, you guys, <laughs> so I can do more of them. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment in the comment section down below to enter the giveaway for the Power Planter Starter Pack. And thank you so much for Power Planter for sponsoring this giveaway. All right, you guys, I hope you have a chance to get into your garden today.